I have a word for Kiara's mom and dad. And I'm going to be straightforward with what I got to say. But first, I want to show this article. See the thing, the thing about this article, it shows that whatever miss understandings of information was given this article was written this year in March so by now the information should be in order those of you saying that that wasn't Kiara on the footage where here is still saying that that was her those of you saying that her car wasn't there or that wasn't her car that she walked in front of this article is still saying that she walked past her car this article is still saying that she called in sick this article is still saying that that is a post office uniform or a postal carrier uniform she's wearing all the way in 2019 this article is still saying those things I'm going to slide it down here for you to see it yourself. Her dad says she was happy to be pregnant. She called out sick from a job. Surveillance video. Would later show Kiara leaving her apartment at 82nd Street and Coles Avenue and walking past her car. This is way in 2019. The information should be together by now, right? She is seen wearing her U.S. Postal Service uniform despite having called in sick. Her mom got worried a couple of days later or a few days later her mom was worried or became concerned when she hadn't heard from Kiara and called her phone and her phone was going straight to voicemail. Okay. Police went to Kara's apartment to conduct a welfare check, meaning to make sure she was okay. Kiara was nowhere to be seen, but her car was still parked out front. Her car was still parked out front. We all seen the front of the apartment. She wouldn't go this long without talking to me. We talk every day. Alright. Now, 
this is the word that I have for the parents, for for uh, for a family, a loved ones. Authorities whose Kiara's father is confident will get answers in his daughter's case told Dateline they too suspect foul play in the young woman's disappearance. Now, this is what I want to say. The parents or her family members, they know or they they've they've been saying that Kiara is a bossy female, right? She's a bossy young lady, right? She gets straight to the point. What's said is said and what's done is done, right? This is a young lady who pushed her way into getting a nice job, a nice apartment, a nice car. She got pregnant. She's looking forward to maybe being with the baby father, the kid's father, right? So everything is looking on up and up, right? And she's proud to have this job. She's proud to have this life, right? And so for a bossy young lady who's straightforward with everything she's she's dead on because she's trying to get something done. She don't have time for the foolishness, right? So in saying that, parents, Mr. Cole. Miss Phillips, please tell me or tell us or tell yourself, ask yourself, who would she in her right mind let make her call out sick at her job? We're talking about somebody who don't Deal with the foolishness. Y'all say she's a bossy chick, right? What is what we talking about? Ain't no foolishness finna let make a bossy female call out sick for her job and she's expecting a child. She's trying to get something done. She don't have time for the foolishness. Oh no, whatever it is that, uh, you got to deal with, you have to wait until I get off. You have to wait till I get off work. I'll talk to you then. So who in her right mind is she letting herself, allowing herself to call off of work? Not only she called off of work, but she lied to her job for this person. For this reason, for whatever reason, she walked out of her apartment in a desperate look. If I'm pregnant, I'm not going to say if I'm pregnant because I'm a dude. I don't know about being pregnant. I've seen it, but I don't know it. But I can tell you this. If a woman is pregnant and she has an important job and she call out sick, meaning she's really sick, she's not going to walk out in a postal carrier uniform. She's going to take her time to take that stuff off. If she was on the way, and this is the thing too, she was on the way to work. It's not like she woke up sick for real. It's not like she woke up 
intentionally ready to call in sick, ready to not go to work. That's not how she did it. She was already dressed. She was already dressed for work. She already had on her postal carrier uniform. She was already dressed to go to work. She was expecting to go to work. For some reason, out of a desperate move, she called then sick. Then she walked out the door. Who in her right mind would she let or allow herself to call in sick? For what? What is that important for her to call in sick? We're talking about Kiara Coles. We're not talking about nobody else. We're talking about Kiara Coles. Why would she let someone make her call in sick? You know she do not play those kind of games. So who do you think had enough weakness in her heart? A softness in her heart. Who did she have a softness in her heart for to allow herself to call in sick when she know she need to go to work? She know she's trying to handle business. She know she don't have time for foolishness. Who had a soft spot in her heart? Who did she have a soft spot in her heart for that would make her do that? Hmm? Think about that. Think about that. A woman who's expecting and she just got a good job, nice apartment, nice car. She's expecting a child. Who had a soft spot in her heart to make her call out sick? A bossy chick like her. Think about it. Think about it. That's your suspect. Don't let them get away. That's your suspect. You know your child. You know your child. You know what she would and wouldn't do. We got your suspect. There's no way or no other way around this. I know y'all keeping up hope. And I wouldn't advise you no other way. All right. Y'all be blessed.